Hi, I'm Dylan, driver at Newcastle for LNER. Today we're taking the southbound Highland Chieftain around the Durham Coast Diversion. Let's jump on and have a look at the Durham Coast from the driver's seat. We've got a long and slow run out of Newcastle to date towards the Durham coastline, unusually from platform two. We're being routed out via the Kingwood Bridge to keep the unit in the right formation. You can be routed one of three ways when you come out this way, towards either the coast via the Kingwood Bridge East Junction, Carlisle, or continuing on the main line towards London. Starting off, we need to make sure we've got the main aspect and the C in the theatre box, so we're being routed in the correct manner. We'll pass the site of the former Tyneside IECC on the right, which is being refurbished and returning as the Tyneside Rock from the summer. As we approach Greensfield Junction, we ignore the 20 miles per hour increase as it reduces back to 15 pretty much instantly. The speed increases to 25 as we snake our way through the points to join the up Sunderland line, giving our colleague a nice wave of apology there for delaying him getting back to Newcastle. We then charge through Heweth. We then drop down to 60 miles per hour for the curves round Brockley Winds and Bolden Cottery. And we see the automatic half barrier crossings for Bolden Lane and Tile Sheds come into view. Once we're clear of the crossings, it's back up to 70 miles per hour for the straight run through Bolden as we edge closer to the bustling metropolis of Sunderland. We're then back on the Charlie Drakes to bring us down to 60 miles per hour through Seaburn. And we're preparing for the next speed drop of 40 miles per hour as we approach the Stadium of Light Metro station. We then see the finest football ground in the northeast come into view, a regular source of disappointment and frustration on a Saturday afternoon. As we pass through Mount Weymouth Station Museum, which is also now a pub. We then pass through St. Peter's Metro Station and we slow down for the 20 miles per hour at the entrance to Sunderland North Tunnel as we pass over the River Weir across the Weymouth Bridge. into the unique underground architectural marvel known as Sunderland Station, which is the only underground station that we serve. We'll catch the first glimpse of the northeast coastline as we curve around towards Raya Grange Junction, where the line towards Hendon Docks and the old Sunderland South Dock Shed joins us. Another former stomping ground for many of our drivers and managers. then back up to 55 and open the taps as we climb up through the same station. We continue climbing as we run up through Dorden Junction as we then pass over Dorden Viaduct. We give a blast on the horn for Hawthorne High foot crossing. <laughs> on the horn and we sail through Horden and then across Horden Viaduct.
then pass through Crimden Dane Holiday Park and then over the next of the viaducts along the coast, Crimden Dane Viaduct, with the speed reducing to 50 as we exit, back up to 60 miles per hour. But we're cautious of the upcoming Cemetery North, where at the site of the former signal box, the speed reduces back down to 45 for the steep right hand curve as we then begin to drop down towards Hartlepool. We then pass through Hartlepool Station and over Church Street level crossing. over Seaton Carew Junction and as we fly through the station giving the sound on the horn for the foot crossing just to the north of the platforms passing the site of the former Greetham station and signal box as we then pass over Cowton Lane level crossing we're dropping back down to 60 as we pass through Billingham station start our approach North Shore Curve where we drop back down to 50 as we curve around towards Stockton Station drop even further down to 30. 30 takes us all the way through the station it's back to being a roller coaster as we bounce our way towards Yarm Tuttle and across the longest of the viaducts on the coast, Yarm Viaduct, with the town of Yarm nestling underneath. We then pass through Yarm Station and on towards Picton, passing over Picton Crossing. I bring the speed of the train right down, making sure that we're down to the 60 miles per hour for Severus Curve, which then drops to 50 and then eventually 30, which takes us all the way into the platform at York, which today is platform three. And it's journey's end for us Newcastle drivers, and we hand the train off to a colleague from London to continue the journey to King's Cross.